Hey guys and welcome to another Transfer Targets video. If you didn't know in this series, basically we pick a random football team, look at the weaknesses, then pick out their summer transfer targets and finish off with their potential lineup for the 2014-15 season. Today we're looking at Atletico Madrid, obviously, obviously playing La Liga under manager Diego Simeone and had a fantastic season last season. Finishing first in La Liga, just beat Barcelona in the last game of the season. However, they do have a weakness at the minute, which is their goalkeeper. Why? Well, basically, Courtois looks like he's going back to Chelsea under Jose Mourinho. So, they, obviously, he's been at loan, so they need to replace him. And that is where they need to strengthen. So, let's take a look at some of the players they could buy in the summer transfer window, and the ones in particular... I've gone for who they should buy. Starting top left, quite an interesting one, Fernando Torres, 30 years old, currently at Chelsea, you, you, most of you will know him. Uh, obviously used to play at Atletico Madrid, then moved away, and let's be honest, he's not been the best at Chelsea ever since his £50 million move. Player rate 7 out of 10, he's just not the best finisher anymore, used to be world class. Um, although people do underrate his passing, he's actually quite a good pass for the ball. Um, getting on now for a striker, they're 30, 30 years old, and obviously Chelsea have just bought Diego Costa, so I can see him moving. Uh, whether or not to Atletico Madrid, we'll see. Moving on to the top right, quite an interesting one, Javier Hernandez of Manchester United. 26 years old, obviously a very good player, very clinical, uh, very fast as well. Uh, obviously, he struggles to get in the team in Manchester United with the strikers such, of, sh such as Rooney, Van Persie and Welbeck, so he, he might want to move. Probably not this window, that's why I've only given it a probability of 20%, but maybe the next one, if under Louis van Gaal, he's still not getting opportunities. Player rating 7.5 out of 10, main strength is finishing. Probably not the best player uh, with the ball, you know, in terms of dribbling and passing, but he's a very clinical finisher and gets in good positions. Then moving on to a goalkeeper, the guy that looks like um, will replace Courtois, Jean Oblak of Benfica. That, that looks any second now that will go through. If not, the, by the time this video has gone up, he might have already moved. 21 years old, probability of happening 95%, as I said, nearly done. Play rating 8 out of 10, looks a very de decent keeper. Main strength is shot stopping. Uh, I have seen a few clips of him where he's come out to catch crosses and has been unsuccessful but normally he looks very good and then finally another player um, Atletico Madrid have been linked for is Alessio Cersei of Torino 26 years old he's a right winger uh, which would get suit to the Atletico Madrid team easily because they need a right winger slash right mid probability of happening 60% apparently they're in talks but you never know, he's linked with a few other clubs as well. Play rating 7.5 out of 10, very fast, good at crossing, uh, good at passing, but isn't the strongest player. So yeah, the two players I've gone for are Jano Black and Ali Alicio Cersei. Let's have a look at how they would fit into the Atletico Madrid team for the 2014-15 season. So obviously in goal we've got a Black, the transferred keeper, he would uh, slot right into there, and then the very strong defence. Last season, obviously, it was Felipe Luiz, but he looks like he's going to Chelsea in the left back position. Uh, Gulham Segura has moved from Benfica, 28 years old, said to be happy with the move, move, and looks a very good player, 28 years old. Then you've got the three Atletico Madrid fans will be very familiar with of Godin, Miranda, and Juan Fran. All of them are very, very solid. Godin had a very solid uh, World Cup with Uruguay. Juan Fran didn't get in the Spain team. Um, well, he did get in the Spain team, but didn't play um, that much. Then moving on to the midfield three of Gabi, Garcia and Coque. Gabi's obviously the anchor player just in front of the defence and behind uh, the main midfield. He just keeps the ball moving, good pass for the ball, but can also make vital interceptions and tackles when needed. Garcia, obviously very hard worker of the team, one of the best players last season. Uh, last season though, he didn't play as much as he would like because of Thiago, but still a very good player and I expect him to play more this season. Koke has been linked with many clubs over the last few years, including 
Real Madrid and Manchester United. Although it looks like staying put this summer window. 22 years old, very good player, lots of creativity and can dribble with the ball. Then the front three of Turan, Mandzukic and Cersei. Obviously Mandzukic moved about a week ago, maybe two weeks um, from by me. And it looks a quality signing, very clinical, good at heading the ball from corners and crosses. And then Turan, lots of quality. He's been linked with Liverpool, but looks like he's staying as well. Lots of skill, lots of pace, can take on players. And then finally Cersei, very good cross for the ball. Hopefully he'll be crossing... Uh, crossing accurately to Mandzukic and he'll finish it off. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video guys, tell me what you think of it and if you think this will be the Atletico Madrid lineup for next season, click the subscribe button at the top left there if you want to see more and comment uh, telling me what you think of the video. Leave a like as well if you enjoyed. Goodbye.